for me, getting to know Andre Harrell has been one of the most invigorating experiences of my life. Uh, just being able to be in the same room with him and, you know, uh, for the lack of a better expression, rub shoulders with him has been such an honor and a pleasure. I can recall several times where he has definitely played a very intricate part into the lives of the careers of my brothers and I uh, as members of Hamilton Park. And, you know, it's just been such an honor and a pleasure to, to, again, to just know him and to be around him, to feel his energy and just to kind of vibe and bounce ideas and and just to glean and learn from his wisdom. Uh, it's just been such an honor and pleasure. And I just want to say just rest in power, King. Andre, Andre Harrell, what can I say, man? He was an innovator, a trailblazer, the only R&B dude I know that couldn't sing a lick, man. He was so R&B, such a dope spirit, man. Make your strengths your strengths and your weaknesses your strengths. I think about the first time you came to the house and we played you um, our music and you decided after the first record, we didn't even have to play the whole project, that we will be signed to your label. And then they left that night and I went home and studied, or went downstairs because you came to our house. I went downstairs and studied who you was and realized who you were. And to know that you're no longer here on this earth, we will no longer feel your presence or your energy. It won't be the same. Marcus, Hampton Park. I love you, Dre. One of the main things I think I take away from Dre having been a part of the situation is the fact that um, he his influence um, on the entire camp um, was so significant that, you know, he's had a lasting impact to this day. Um, those who worked with us then to those who work with us now um, and, you know, just individually, um, I'm just appreciative of the ability to be a part of his legacy. Um, and having been able to say, we mark time with Andre Arrell. Yesterday, oh, 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 all my troubles seem so far away. Now it seems as though they're here to stay. I think one of the biggest differences is that we were making up tempo. And our records had were married to hip hop. And our fashion was married to hip hop. They were more in a songwriting thing, whereas we were in a lifestyle thing. I was taking the guy or the girl who wouldn't necessarily be picked first. And I was working with that. And it made it much more real and credible. On my hand Since you've been away, Dre I ain't got no plans No, 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 no And the sound of the rain Is through my window pane It's slowly, slowly, slowly driving me insane that you used before and now all of them got a bigger bounce so now when you come back finally to me I'm bouncing and we're about at the end of the song and the guys are looking at me and I'm clapping my hands and I'm saying y'all got this and then oh and I'm leaving and that's the end 
got that? Send that nigga that bitch. Hamilton Park. They're a bunch of tough, they're ball players. I'm, they, their background is, they were playing uh, double, double AU ball, and they met that way. They've been a group for five years, and they got a church background. I haven't seen anything like that since, since Jodeci and Boyz II Men. I haven't seen that level of emotional drama in a video by young black men. Hi, my name is Andre Harrell. Thanks for having me. I'd like to introduce you to my new group, my first release on my brand new label, Harrell Records. The group hails from Atlanta. They're young boys about 19, 20, four of them to be exact, and they call themselves Hamilton Park. And they came to put some love back on the radio. Welcome to Harrell Records. I've been watching you for so very long. Trying to get my nerve out now to be so strong. I really want to meet you, but I'm kind of scared. Cause you're the kind of lady with so much class. Gotta get my thoughts together for the very next day. When I see a lady, I forget what to say Your eyes and hair, such a beautiful tone The way you dress and walk, it really turns me on Come and talk to me, I really wanna meet you Can I talk to you, can I talk to you The next generation really didn't focus on, on uh, celebrating love. It kind of went to sex and there was no love and I think that when men sing about sex all the time it makes women not sing about being vulnerable. They start singing about their independence and they don't need a man. And so um, I just knew that that wasn't all, that wasn't the truth. That's not how everybody was feeling, nor was it how people wanted to feel. So I thought there was an opportunity to bring love back and put that on the radio. Mm -hmm. And I also think that music and those kind of records, um, they teach young people how to be. And I'm thinking that the records that we had out now was so influenced by hip hop and the machismo hip hop that leaked into R&B that the reality of how young men and women are supposed to conduct themselves in relationships and in social environment was, was, wasn't being depicted correctly at all. So I, I thought there was an opportunity like for a paradigm shift back to love. Oh, oh shit! Turn up! Well that's the turn up! It's a round nigga! got my cup though! Yeah. No, wait, no, give me a cup, give me a cup, give me a cup. Hey man, all white cocaine fair. Bring your drugs. No, no, leave your drugs. Just bring your party. Get them. Bring your party. Fill up my lens. Fill up my lens. How are you gonna neglect the this shit? I gotta get glasses. And Mr. Margus and Anthony. Thank y'all, bro. Hey man. C V. And it's Marcus Free. HP on three, man. One, two, three. HP! Some glad morning when this life is over. Ooh, fly.
Hallelujah.